Well, for many American voters, abortion is on the ballot. News and now's Emily Haugen is live in studio with what abortion access has looked like in Wisconsin and where it could be going. Amy, the La Crosse Public Library hosted a UW La Crosse research fellow who took a look at the history of abortion access. For her, it's a passion project and a way to understand the future. The overturning of Roe versus Wade prompted plenty of political noise. This is very clearly a political football. Since Roe versus Wade was overturned, it's become a major issue for Democrats. Here in Wisconsin, it all goes back to an 1849 law. Anderson's diary from 1894 to 1895. Researcher Jackie Bedka has been studying the history of abortion access in La Crosse. In the stacks of the La Crosse Public Library, she's found answers. A lot of women did travel across the state. Like one of, a couple of these women were from like Minnesota or even South Dakota. So it wasn't something that you would want to do in your hometown. Women underwent unsafe procedures. And the only reason that we know that this happened in La Crosse is because these women died. When the Supreme Court overturned Roe, most Americans took a side. Now those supporters and critics will take their beliefs to the polls, where political experts say abortion is on the ballot. Republican candidate for governor Tim Michaels recently clarified his position. He did say that he would sign a bill which would allow for exceptions in, in terms of rape, incest, and the life of the mother. While Governor Tony Evers has campaigned on fighting for reproductive rights. He could go to court and suggest that there has already have been modifications. Whether the courts would accept that or not, um, I'm not sure. Bedka believes voters need to look back at Wisconsin's history before making a decision about the state's future. I think that it's important to, in order to look ahead, we have to look back. Like, we have to see lengths, like, women would go to. Voters will play a huge role, but even after the votes are counted, political experts say the courts could have the final word. Several people have said well, those modifications have actually altered the original law and, or, and superseded it. I, and that's a legal question that, that could only be resolved in the courts. And some lawmakers have suggested voters decide Roe's fate in Wisconsin. However, they can't. Under current state law, only lawmakers can initiate a referendum. Earlier this month, Democratic Governor Tony Evers called on lawmakers to amend the Constitution and give voters a direct say, but the Republican legislature took no action. Amy. All right. Thank you, Emily. Again, the election coming up November 8th.